Hi guys, I'm Mark. This is Mark's Tech Vlogs on YouTube and I'm in a slightly different place today because I'm going to bring you guys a kind of overview and first glance at the new Tonex software from IK Multimedia. Now, this is a new plugin and standalone app from IK Multimedia who make Amplitube and a load of hardware and I've reviewed some of their products before um, and actually I use Amplitube all the time when I'm recording music for my project Backroom Stereo which you can check out on Apple Music and Spotify and all that kind of stuff. Now, I've actually had this software for about a month and a half and I've been playing around with it a little bit um, but what I want to do today is kind of really go through it with you guys and give you a bit of an overview and give you some thoughts. It's also worth saying that it's now a mobile app available for Tonex as well. Um, and just from playing around with this, uh, this mobile app is really nice as well. Um, this video is going to focus on the desktop stuff, uh, but I might make a mobile app version uh, if you guys are interested in seeing a review for that. Uh, so comment below if you'd like a mobile app kind of overview. And then you can also access Tonex directly through Amplitude as well. So if you've got Amplitude, so if you've got Amplitude 5, you can access that directly in there without having to load the separate kind of plugin or separate app. So I want to start off by talking about what is Tonex because um, on the surface, it kind of sounds like a sort of Amplitude rebranded, uh, but it's really not. So this software is designed for a few different things. Uh, firstly, it lets you model your own amps, your own cabinets, and your own pedals, uh, but it is limited to distortion, overdrive, fuzz, EQ, and boost pedals. Um, and this is done by a piece of hardware, which I haven't got, so this isn't something I'm testing, uh, but it uses AI tech with this. Um, and whilst this isn't something I'm gonna test, uh, in part because I haven't got the hardware to record the gear, but also because I use Amplitude for everything, I actually have no guitar amp or guitar pedals because Amplitude is literally my guitar amp and pedals all the time. What you will hear, however, is the results of this software, because one of the things you can do with it is you can model your own stuff and then share that stuff uh, on the kind of Tonex network and so you're going to hear some of the stuff that other people have modeled in this video. And where the software gets really fun is that it lets you kind of browse and search through thousands of kind of tone models and gear um, and this includes the stuff via ToneNet which is where other people can share the stuff that they've modeled. So as time goes on this software is just going to get vaster and vaster. And I want to talk about versions and pricing because there are four versions of Tonex available. Uh, there's a free version, this has 20 models 10 amps, five pedals, and you can download 20 user tone models. Uh, now this is plenty to get you started and ideal if you just want to play around. Uh, there's also Tonex SE and Tonex. Now at the moment, both of these cost 150 pounds. So I'm not entirely sure why they're different uh, when they cost the same, but they are slightly different in terms of what you get. So with SE, uh, you get 200 tone models, uh, you get 20 amps, 10 pedals, and unlimited creation and unlimited model downloads. Uh, if you go for Tone X, so not the SE version, you get 400 models, 40 amps, 20 pedals, and then also unlimited creation and downloads. And finally, there's Tone X Max, which IK Multimedia have kindly provided me with uh, for this video. Um, and this includes a thousand tone models, a hundred amps, 50 pedals and unlimited creations and unlimited model downloads again. So this software usually costs £250, but if you've already got Amplitude 5, you can save £50 on that, bring it down to £200, um, and you need to look at all of that on the IK Multimedia website. Um, and that's kind of it in terms of overview of what you get bundled in it. If you want to know the kind of specifics of which models and amps and, and stuff that you get uh, with each of those different types of Tonex, then check out the IK Multimedia website for that. I will put a link below for that as well. Um, so let's, uh, let's check out this software and let's see what it's like to use. So I'm going to uh, probably bump myself down to the corner of the screen um, and I'm going to show you my screen right now. Okay, so I've got an empty Logic project here, so what I'm going to do is just go into Audio Effects here, and I've got Tonex, so I'm going to go for this one. Um, and I'm only going to show it to you uh, in the Tonex interface in Logic, because it's very similar, um, kind of regardless of whether you use it within uh, its standalone app, or if you use it as part of Amplitude. Uh, so I've got my guitar plugged in. Okay, so what we can do is you can see you've got some model collections here that you can go through. So let's say we want to go through some fuzz pedals. So you've got the big muff pedal put in there, so we can go through that and just see what each of you sound like. So.
And of course these are presets uh, down here, but you can adjust these as well, just like you would an amplitude. So you can do like... So you do all of that if you want to. Uh, if we go into some of the amps, because it's a bit more fun. Uh, so you can of course uh, also save your kind of own presets and things if you want to. So if we go into this, uh, we're going to browse the orange collection here for now. So let's just double click this. So we've got an orange amp with a little bit of gain. Uh, we can go for a bit more high gain. And what you can see is you've got these like characters by these as well to help you find the right one. Uh, it's got kind of what the stomp is based on, it's got a stomp, it's got the amp as well. So this is the orange thunderbird, uh, whatever it is. Uh, so if we go for, let's go for the clean one for a second. And of course you can adjust all of these as well. So if you want a little bit more trouble, you can move that up. Um, so we can see here's you've got your amp and you've got your cabinet so I can switch these around as well just like a good in amplitude normally. So I could say let's have, uh, let's go for a big old cabinet. So we go for that, I'll go for that one. So and then we could go for something different with this one if we wanted to. And then you've got obviously putting all those together you can uh, change some of this as well if you want to. You've got reverb you can switch on if you want to, so you can change the room. So you see you can change that as well if you want to, so let's just switch that off again. You can also play around with your mics and kind of where they are and things like that. Um, and then you can also add different things in. So you've got things like noise gates, uh, you've got overall kind of volume and stuff. Uh, there is like so much in this. Um, so yeah, there are, you know, much like Amplitude, there are absolutely tons of pedals and things you can go through. There's also ones for bass, which I won't show you. Uh, so what I want to show you as well is I want to show you ToneNet. Now ToneNet is the kind of online system uh, where you can share with other people. Um, so you've got this little tick down here uh, where you can filter the sort of sound you want um, and then you've got this browser here where you can see a bit more about the style of sound uh, obviously everyone has a little avatar people who've made it and you can see which ones you like so uh, we can go through these so let's have a look at uh, this is a clean one apparently based on a Marshall uh, with a different amp uh, so this is one someone's actually modeled so this is the kind of AI stuff that we're talking about so And with these, much like um, all of the kind of general amplitude stuff, what you can do is you can change all of these dials as well. So we can uh, add more reverb. We can turn the volume off if you want to. Um, now, if you like these, uh, so if you like this one, for example, you can obviously give it a thumbs up. Uh, you can also download it, which means it's going to be available uh, offline for you. So I'm going to do that. So you've got a few ways of filtering this. You can do a search if you want to. There's some filters here by kind of types. If you do some amps and cabs or complex rigs or stomps, uh, you search by uh, guitar or bass, the kind of cab size, the stomps, the characters, you can do all of that. Um, no, and so, sorry, so I was wrong at the start. This is, not, this is not the filter. If you want to filter by styles and things, you can do that up here. So you've got clean drive, high gain, amps and cabs, guitars, bass, cab config, all that kind of stuff. Um, this is your kind of style that you can test with, so you don't actually have, a, have to have a guitar in your hand if you want to see what these are like. So what you can do is uh, use a kind of built-in simulator. So for example, this is space. So you can find the kind of music perhaps you want to play. So. So let's say that's the type of music you want to play, what you could do is you can then go through these, so go, okay, how's that sound like that? Okay. 
So that just gives you an idea of some of the sounds you can get from this and some of the presets built in, uh, but also this kind of demo sound. Um, and of course you can do it up here and just switch between these, which is really nice. You can also tap the play here. So yes, yeah, so you can look at the audio demos other people have come up with. You've got all the information on the side of kind of uh, where this stuff comes from. So it's type, the instrument is designed for. Um, there is just so much in here. And of course, when you get to the bottom of this list, it loads up the searcher and will bring you some more. Um, so, you know, I could go down this and be lost in this all day. There is literally so much in here that you can use. That one looks interesting. Let's just uh, switch it back on for a second and see what this sounds like. And again, I like that one, so I'm going to download that. So, so one of the really nice things about this is you can obviously go through all of this. You can use this little kind of demo button so you don't have to worry about trying to play something yourself, so you can focus on the sounds that you want, and then you can come back to that with your own guitar later on. So that's a great way of sampling stuff. Uh, really without um, having to worry too much about what you're playing and just thinking right that's the sort of sound I play I want to get the right tone so you can focus on tones and do that. If I click out a tone net uh, what you can see now that I've downloaded a couple is you can see that this one is now in my library here. So what I'm going to do just for the last part of this video is I'm going to just switch into bass um, I'm going to go into filter and just click onto bass because I want to give you guys a feel for the bass stuff as well so let's go up here uh, and hit that There you guys go. So that is a overview of Tonex from IK Multimedia. Um, as you can see, there is tons of stuff in there, uh, and I know my kind of guitar end hasn't done that justice, um, but I just want to give you guys a feel for some of the effects in there, some of the tones. Um, this is kind of absolutely incredible software. It sounds so good. Um, and this is something I'm going to be using for recording uh, on an ongoing basis now as well. I'm looking forward to the modelling by other people continue to expand because there's some really good stuff there already um, and I can't wait to see how that kind of grows over time. And really, I think this is going to be software that's going to continue to change stuff. Like if you can model equipment, then you can access that wherever you are. Um, and it obviously makes things much easier for people recording, but it also means you can share some of that equipment. So it's going to be great to see what else appears there over time. Um, and this is just one example of how AI is kind of impacting loads of stuff. I've been using digital stuff for years for my music. So I've been using Amplitude 4 and M5 for all my guitars on my last couple of records. Um, I use Toontrack Easy Drummer for the sounds of drums. So I've got an electric kit that I run into that as well. Um, and actually the kind of amount of digital stuff you can do is so cool. And it means that I can sit in a room like this, uh, which isn't that big, and I can record an entire album without having to go to a studio. So if you guys have got any questions on Tonex, do drop them below and I'll try and answer those for you. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Uh, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys again soon.